The Sis Hour. I'm Doug Reardon. And I'm Annie Satowski. Sunday, Governor Whitmer announced that indoor bar and restaurant service would have to be on hold, and that starts on Wednesday. But at least one business was ahead of the curve. Yeah, and good news for them. They got a shout out from the governor last night. In fact, our Julie Dunmeyer joins us live with their plan for handling these new restrictions. Julie. Doug and Annie Long Road Distillers did go ahead and make that decision to close early their indoor services as a bar restaurant. Those requirements by the MDHHS going into effect on Wednesday. I spoke to people both at Long Road and at Mitten Brewing. They are telling me that this is not a position anybody wants to be in. The road to recovery for restaurants and bars in the Mitten is certainly a long one. Well, we're shut down again. You know, this is a really difficult time for our industry. No one knows that better than the owners of two businesses right across the street from each other, Long Road Distillery and Mitten Brewing. Going into this weekend, we had started discussions already with our management team about the possibility of closing down for indoor service. And we could all feel it in the restaurants. There was just a growing sense of fear. Long Road chose to close their dining room before the requirement went into place, despite having no known staff or customers exposed, because they felt like it was the right thing to do, earning them a gold star from Governor Whitmer. I saw this morning that Long Road Distillers in Grand Rapids has ended in-person service to protect the Grand Rapids community. Steps like these are crucial to getting this virus under control, and I want to thank them and all of the other restaurants and restaurant workers who have made incredible sacrifices this year. Co-owner of Long Road, Kyle Van Steen, says they did it to protect their customers and staff. Just with how concerning it was to see the widespread nature of the virus here in West Michigan. This is the hardest hit Kent County has been. Mitten Brewing Company's co-owner Chris Andrus saying business was already getting slow. There's an inverse relationship between case count and people willing to go out to restaurants. So on their eighth birthday on Monday, Mitten switched to takeout only. Definitely the first and the eighth year have been the toughest so far. Now these business owners worry for their staff. I'm hopeful that this can be a short term thing. It's a little more distressing this time around because there is no extra unemployment benefit. There is no PPP. It's a bit of an unfunded mandate from the state. They're asking us to just shut down with no recourse for our staff. And hope in three weeks time our state's numbers will have come down far enough to shorten the length of that long road ahead for the mitten. It wasn't easy. It's not it's not a decision that I want to make. Really, it's make or break time for the small retailers and restaurants. And one way that you can support Long Road during this closure, they are offering at home cocktail kits and even going to do some Zoom happy hours where one of their bartenders will walk you through how to make one of their your favorite cocktails from Long Road yourself at home with friends virtually. Mitten Brewing again saying that they've got to go businesses open. Their carry out window has been busy all day and that they're hoping that during this time people will make the choice to shop local as opposed to those big box stores. Live in Grand Rapids, Julie Dunmeyer, Fox 17 News.